Hello everybody, welcome to a new vlog series, I guess we're going to be calling Taste Test. So today we have a couple of Lester's fixins. We should have a fourth person here, but he refuses to try them on principle. On principle. So he doesn't get any, he doesn't get any chocolate afterward. Uh, this is my friend Chris. Hello. And my brother Patrick. Uh, if you move your head down a bit, they can see you. And there he is. Okay. So, we have the Buffalo Wing Soda. I thought that was orange flavored. <laughs> it looks like it's orange flavored, but no. I don't think Lester would bother with just orange. And we have Ranch Dressing Soda. So, what do you want to try first? I'd say we try you, the you Buffalo. try Buffalo, and you, then you finish with Ranch, of course. Yeah, I guess those would go good together. It's like what you dip your Buffalo Wings in. I hope these are twist off. Otherwise, I just look foolish. Got a bottle opener, Pat? Of course. <laughs> Let me get my car keys. <laughs> Please hold. Because what you always need when you're driving is a bottle, bottle opener. Better. Yes. <laughs> hey. Don't mind me, I'm just a human guinea pig. It's got a nice uh, orange color to it. Looks like it would be orange, but no. Still fizzy. Are they cold? Yeah, I just got them in the fridge. I've been keeping them by my desk for the last couple of months, but... So appetizing. Desk soda. Very nice orange color to it. Almost the same color as Chris's shirt. Nice knowing ya. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> that was it started off okay it started off I guess because we thought it would still kind of taste like orange it started off okay but then it tasted greasy maybe like stale dishwater wings are greasy I guess it's got a little bit of an afterburn to it like a wing it doesn't really have afterburn as aftertaste though no, I've got... No, I'm getting a I burn, I drank, too. I drank it all, actually. Hmm. See? Yeah, you just got the whole thing. And you've got a little bit of afterburn in your throat, like if you had some nice hot wings. What it's missing is the, the roundness of the meat, you know? It's roundness. got the spice. Roundness of chicken? The roundness, like the, the fullness of it. It's got the spiciness at the end down to a... a Besides. Yeah, there is a little bit of an afterburn to it, yeah. But it's got the spice. You have to gun the whole thing at once. Yeah, it's got the spiciness down pretty but good. But no, no savory? Not really, no. no. Savory. It's got the it doesn't have the, the it spicy, have, but no savory. Yeah, it doesn't really have the, the tanginess. Some good meat. And I'll chase that with the Miller High Life. It has it it tastes sweeter than buffalo sauce would normally be. Well yeah. It's, it's got like a, it's got like a soda flavor to it, definitely. Mm -hmm. Almost it orange. Almost orange. Almost orange. It almost tastes. Right? It almost tastes like its look, but it it tastes like a really bad orange. It might be like partly. Yeah. It tastes like, like artificial, artificial orange. orange. Yeah. Yeah. It it's does. all artificial orange. Yeah. If Daniel wants the rest, he can. If he wants any chocolate, yeah, yeah, make, him, make him finish it off camera for chocolate. And I keep tasting because I'm yeah. trying to figure out that kind of flavor is that. Yeah. Soda, generic soda yeah, water it, flavor. Yeah, it does. Kind of tastes like generic soda soda flavor. Like if you get something out of like a Shasta or RC in the in one of those like seventy five cents yeah can things in the supermarket. I'm just thinking there's still a bit of an afterburn to it. That's yep. probably from the bubbles as well. I don't think so. I drank some beer. I still got a little bit of burn. It's just a, there's a very mild afterburn to it. You can sort of taste. It's I can like still, you can I can almost, still sort of taste it in my tongue and throat right now. You can almost throw some tapatio in there to kick it up a notch. Yeah, almost. <laughs> like some tapatio, maybe some tequila. <laughs> sure. <laughs> tapatio and tequila. Yeah, that shit. sounds like a great way to puke. <laughs> <laughs> and and Lester's buffalo wing soda. You don't need tequila. Um, I will say this. I, I will find some tequila if you're gonna drink it. <laughs> I will say this about it. It's interesting, and I think if you want to try an interesting soda, try it. I wouldn't drink it casually, though. Okay, but what did you say? Uh, uh, tequila and tequila, the buffalo wing sauce and buffalo tapatio. Wing and, tapatio. and we call it, that was a bad choice. <laughs> <laughs> well, we 
hit some buffalo wings, so let's try some ranch dressing now. Cool ranch, our ranch dressing on top. Is it cool? Yes. Ranch dressing. Is it cool ranch? Ranch. Fix me my ranch dressing hose. Very clear. Oh. It almost looks like it's gonna taste like coconut. It almost uh oh, he it smells like, like I don't want to drink it. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. Oh, it wow. smells like rancid butter. It does. It smells bad. Oh. You guys, shut up. Let's I'm gonna drink it. And it, if I puke, it's a good thing I'm close to the sink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, aim for the right side. That's the one with the disposal on it. <laughs> I don't even, even think I can duck down and try to drink. Fuck. Turn the camera up a bit. Yeah, it smells like butyric acid. Thanks. <laughs> oh god. Careful. Oh man, oh. Are you okay? Oh fuck. <coughs> Are you okay, dude? Does it look like I'm okay? <laughs> go, to, go to the bathroom if you need to. Do you want another Miller I like to watch it out with? I've got one. <laughs> So what do you think? <laughs> I'm not drinking That tasted like someone that took some underwear and it was like a week used every day and they spread some some cottage cheese on there and then rung it through a few times and then they made tea and then they used that tea for the water base to make this cool red soda and that's how I feel about that. Oh, oh fuck me. It smells terrible. It smells like rancid butter. Oh, oh no! It smells God. like it smells like the you know the the fake butter that they use at the movies for the, for the oh, popcorn. Oh yes! It's, oh, please uh, give me some of that. I'd rather I give me some fake butter. I'll take a cup of that to clear my palate. <laughs> burn my make sure it's really hot to burn off all this taste. Oh Jesus Christ! So bad. But now. I don't know. Do you have some bread or something? Um, uh, some like, cracker buns. There's some crackers here. Yeah. Oh bad. wow. That's hot dog buns. That's bad. Okay. I'm not gonna drink it okay. just so I can say. If I'm he wants chocolate, serious. he needs to drink that one first. <laughs> yeah, we he did it. So okay. I guess. Okay. The way he described it. Oh God. <laughs> here goes nothing. I'm panicking. I'm gonna go the way. It doesn't taste as bad as it smells. It smells terrible. <laughs> yeah, it does. It smells I, awful. But the taste isn't so bad. I beg to differ. Mm. <laughs> it doesn't taste like ranch. No. That's the thing. It it kind of it does kind of taste like that fake butter. See, they get the ranch saying from. It's like the sweat. Oh, the I mean, aftertaste is terrible. It's like the sweat underneath oh. the cowboy's ball sack on the ranch. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that's, that's the ranch we're talking about. <laughs> well, how is Lester still in fucking business? Every damn thing we tried from him is horrible. <laughs> oh, the aftertaste. Ranch dressing, buffalo soda, bacon. How do you fuck up bacon? <laughs> oh, God. Here you go, Dan. If you want, if you want chocolate, you gotta take a hit. I'm not that much of a sadist <laughs> or a masochist. I was gonna say sadist, that's masochist. Well, does Ugh. being the sadist and flicking all this soda on you guys? Ugh. It's something about it. <laughs> it's Saturday night in Hollywood. Yes. That tasted like a football player's crotch smells. Or tastes. Not that I would know. <laughs> Not that you would know. I don't, I don't know. Well, he, I, he has, I might know, but he, he would. had He had like five years away from home, so I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm pouring the rest of that out. Sorry, Doug, that's just too much. Oh. And, oh, yes. Oh, God, the combo? That's for the chocolate. Combine the two, see how it maybe tastes. It'll be, maybe, maybe combine Maybe it'll work, ranch right? dressing and buffalo wings? Uh, maybe. Oh. 
Oh, I can still taste the ranch. It tastes like something you don't want to fucking drink. <laughs> exactly. Eat some crackers. Thank it's you. It's helping. Thank you. I can also still taste it. Get those crackers over here. <laughs> So he doesn't get to try the sea salt dark chocolate Wait. from World Market, 64% cacao. So he gave you the chocolate? Yeah. And you're not letting him try it? <laughs> Maybe you can have some later. <laughs> and the very special one, Moe's Dark Bar Bacon Chocolate. 62% dark chocolate with hickory smoked uncured bacon, Alderwood smoked salt. Let's try the bacon chocolate first. Yeah, that actually sounds enticing. I've been to Moe's Dark Bar. It's a nice place. Not too much light. Uh -huh. And Homer hangs out there too. Hmm. Moe's Dark Bar. They don't come there for the ambience. Mm -hmm. It's not segmented. If you think it would be segmented, then no. It just comes out. It almost looks like a Wonka bar. Yeah. It actually even has the thing underneath. Hey, I won a golden ticket. What the fuck? 15% <laughs> online. I've got a golden ticket. I've got a golden twinkle in my eye. Ow! <laughs> Ow, it's in my eye. What is it? It's a golden twinkle. It hurts. Grab a piece. I'm good. You good? Now I can try it. <laughs> He's like, I'm not trying any more of your shit. <laughs> I'll take a tiny, tiny piece. It's probably gonna be that bad. Hmm? Well, what do you think? You're the first one to try it. It's bacon? Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> it's got these little tiny pockets, like, as if they're like crisps in a crunch bar. And the little crisps are little pieces of crunchy bacon. Crisps, bloods, crisps, bloods. It's got right. great dark chocolate. Wow, yeah, it's really flavor. It's really deep chocolate smell. Um, and it's not overpowering with the bacon. It's perfectly complimentary. Yeah, it's got like little mm -hmm. pops of. 
It's actually really good. I was worried after the last two things we've had. No, this is very good. That's why it's the reward. <laughs> yeah, the the bacon almost acts like those little crispy pops you get from like a, a crackle bar. Yeah. I just said crunch bar. Yeah. Crackle crunch. Fab. Crackle pop. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mother, I want another piece. Go ahead. <laughs> cool. Struggling for the eating. Mm. Dark chocolate is actually really good for your voice if you're if you're singing. Also, mm. it coats you, coats your vocal cords. Does it say something on the back? Look, it says something right there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Blah blah. blah. It's probably just scratches, but it looks kind of like it says something. Okay, share that with you. Probably can't, you probably can't get the camera to zoom in on it, though. Almost looks like Arabic or Farsi. Oh, then you're reading it backwards. <laughs> yeah, it, um, it doesn't taste strongly of bacon, but it's a really good dark chocolate. Yeah. I usually don't like dark chocolate because it's like a really overpowering taste. Yeah, I like usually. that stuff in the 60 to 70 percent range. That's that's what I like. Yeah, so this is a sixty-two percent. Yeah. If it's like eighty percent, that's a bit much. Ninety is just too bitter. Yeah, ninety is fucking it's ridiculous. It's really good for you. Oh, it is. And even sixty-two percent is pretty rich. Look at that last one to Dan. I guess. <laughs> if he drinks that fucking soda. <laughs> I'm fighting both sides of the fight. <laughs> Okay. Like, you really gonna not have him let him have any chocolate after he bought it for you? Mm -hmm. If he drinks that soda. That's gonna kind of. kind of. melted? Not really melted, but it kind of sneaked out from. It reformed? Yeah, it kind of snuck out from underneath the foil. Sneaky chocolate. There we go. These are kind of, that's weird, look at that. I think I might have left it in my, on my shelf for a little too long. Is that a dark chocolate also? Yeah. You just eat the dark spots. Just the dark spots? If you want to taste how it's supposed to taste, because when it gets choppy, it starts to turn lighter. Mm. Okay. Well, this is sea salt dark chocolate. Pick me up some of that. Is there anything on the piece of that? You just have to have yours. Sea salt bar. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It has like the, you can taste the sea salt, like little granules in there that kind of shatter. But the salt really adds a lot of flavor to it. Mm hmm. It complements the chocolate. Yeah. It, ju it just, it causes the flavor to just kind of Holy expand shit. bigger. This is good. What brand is this? This is uh, World Market. Is that Ghirardelli? Uh, no, Ghirardelli is different. <laughs> He's brushing it off of the table into his hands and he needs the little crumbs. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the sign of a good chocolate. When you rest in the chocolate crumbs. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. That's amazing! That was really good. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you like eat something chocolatey and then you want something like salty afterwards. Yeah, balance exactly. it out. And this it has, has a bowl. This is like the fucking whole world wrapped up in one. <clears throat> if they started selling this at movie theaters, the after they would movie. never sell another bucket of popcorn. <laughs> the after the aftertaste is also really good in it because like once you get the Chocolate gone, then you have then you have that hit from salt. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's like disappearing, reappearing, disappearing, reappearing ink. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's good. That is damn good. Yeah. So it's like I'm hiding this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dan, do you wanna try the chocolate? Gotta try the ranch first. <laughs> How do you do this to me? Hey, I bought on. that chocolate. We all drank it. Yeah. <laughs> and then you put conditions on having just a little bite of it. We we all drank the Kool Aid. 
I'd rather have Kool Aid. <laughs> of course, everyone will. Don't you have Kool Aid? No. No, but we have not part of the condition. Soda. Just don't smell it as you drink it. It's okay. Hold your nose. I see. Don't smell it. That's part of the experience. I see. Don't smell that bad. It's crunchy. Say, but I don't think I should say it. Oh, say, it. Ahead, say it. It's like sucking on a jock strap. <laughs> That's pretty much what every description has been around. A jock strap that a guy has jacked off into. <laughs> don't ask me how I know. <laughs> That's a pretty accurate description. Here's your reward. God. Wash it down with some nice chocolate. I feel like a whore now. I licked it. Chocolate horse. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I did. <laughs> Which is what, the bacon one? Yeah, that's the bacon. It's from most chocolate horror bar. <laughs> the bacon tastes salty. You don't know salty yet. <laughs> I'm overly sensitive. Salt. 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 Uh, that's the most dark bar, yeah. Eh. Was eh. it worth the ranch dressing? <laughs> Okay, well, why don't you try the, uh, break off the sea salt break chocolate. Break off the piece right Yeah. You all agree that the sea salt chocolate is amazing. That's a bit big. Break that in half. That's the sea salt one. Mm. It smells like bitter, dark chocolate. It's 62%. Yeah. That would explain it. Personally, I'm a fan of like 60 to 70 percent of my range. Make sure you pick that up. We have a dog. Oh, all right. God, that's salty. <laughs> the salt should help complement it, though. Although you are overly sensitive, so maybe. I'm overly sensitive to the salt. All I taste is the salt. Mm. Mm. So. No for you. Yeah. So final verdict: <laughs> ranch dressing soda. Hell no. <laughs> Three thumbs down. <laughs> yes. Buffalo wing soda. Uh, yes. If you want an interesting experience, go for it. But yeah, but I wouldn't drink it casually. Try it once. Partially amputated. Thumb up. <laughs> half a thumb up. Yeah, half a thumb up. Like that. Thumb up. Half a thumb up. The Vosges Moe's Dark Bar. The bacon it, bar. I couldn't really taste the bacon, but it was a good dark chocolate. Yeah, the bacon was almost sort of a, like you said, a kind of a crackly, crackle taste to it. It was satisfying. I wouldn't go out of my way for it. But the dark chocolate from World Coffee Full Market, the sea salt dark chocolate, that was freaking awesome. I would yeah. go out of my way to buy that. I would look for this chocolate bar to share it with others and enjoy it myself. I wholeheartedly endorse this brand and or product. <laughs> You're half a thumb with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was it for this first episode of, or I've done some episodes before, but this is the first one, we're calling it Taste Test. So everybody, take care. Bye.